Good morning, IHS Janes. I'm John Montgomery. I go by Bama, and I'm here with Northrop Grumman at uh, Farnborough and been uh, showing the distributed aperture system DAS to the folks here at uh, Farnborough. So distributed aperture st system stands, we, we say DAS, D-A-S, is a unique sensor that's on the F-35. It's six, six sensors. This is the size of the sensors, about the size of a shoebox, about 17 pounds. The six sensors are distributed around the F-35 in such a way that their fields of view are combined and we create one field of view. That field of view is everywhere. And the three functions on the F-35, the first function was missile warning everywhere. Missile comes off the ground, missile comes air, land, or sea is launched. DAS will pick up the plume and then tell the pilot if the missile's coming at him. We call that Yato. You are the one. That's the primary function of DAS. We found out it was so sensitive that we could also see aircraft around the F-35, so it creates a protective bubble from missiles being launched, but also any aircraft getting close to the F-35, the distributed aperture system will pick it up and show it to the pilot. And the third function was this pristine HD quality, high definition infrared imagery or night vision. So what we did is we came up with this display to help people understand that DAS was looking everywhere all the time. And so in this system, if you look at it here, what this is is a real night sortie that we were flying in Maryland, so on the eastern shore of America, and we're flying toward Washington, D.C. It's a one-minute loop, so it will, it will loop. And this is us flying at night. What you'll see is the squares near the Boresight Cross there are aircraft that are taking off from our Baltimore Washington International Airport. And as you can see, distributed aperture system is picking up many of them around the aircraft. Ones that you would not have to look for because the system is picking it up. Of course it would pick up missiles that are launched from the ground. And then you can see this night imagery everywhere. So I can see a divert field over there. I can look straight up, beautiful sky, and the parlor trick, as we call it, looking through the floor of the aircraft right here because the sensors are outside the cockpit, so it's like being in Wonder Woman's jet, flying an invisible jet because you never have to see the jet because the distributed aperture system is looking out there for you. And this is used day and night? Well, you, we generally use it, it's always there. So it's always doing missile warning and it's always doing this, what we call SAR, situational awareness and infrared search and track looking for these aircraft. The imagery you do not have to turn on during the day, obviously you have your eyes, but we found some good reasons to turn it on during the day. A couple of reasons. One, it will pick up a wake of a ship for a significant amount of time. So even though the ship is gone, maybe it hit under a canopy, think on the littorals, and the human eye can't pick up that wake, DAS can pick it up for a significant amount of time so there's nowhere to hide. It'll do this same thing out in the open, uh, out open water. We've also had DAS uh, look, uh, a pilot was flying, turned DAS on during the day and could see a whale. When he turned DAS off, could not see the whale. So it sees super different, small differences in temperatures. So maybe shallow water mines might be uh, seeable by DAS. You can actually see that as you look right here. You can see those rich blend of colors right in this area, uh, in the water area. And you can see a small ship that's right there by the Boresight Cross. So those things show very nicely. And so that's where you can kind of see the wakes. Is the F-35 the only aircraft with this system? It is. F-35 is the only aircraft. This is really this and the APG-81 radar made by Northrop Grumman. Those two combining together really are the heart of fifth generation fusion. Brilliant. Thank you very much indeed. Yeah.